seeing right now is the uh, new object tracking. Um, this is the final result of a object that's been tracked inside of Cinema 4D using the updates of the motion tracker. Uh, you also get a good view of some of the viewport display enhancements. Um, so as you can see, we have real-time reflections in there, and there's even options to do some screen space ambient occlusion, which can help add a little bit more detail to the surfaces of your object as you're working. Um, but so I'm going to dive into a little bit of how the, the object tracking actually works. Um, so we can go to a new scene here and we start with the motion tracker and that's where we do all of our 2D tracking, um, just like you could with the, the stand, standard camera solving. Um, and you have to load in your, your footage and it's going to show up in the viewport and we're going to adjust the resampling here. And you simply control click on any of the points in your image and you're going to be able to set that as a tracking point. Um, so we can kind of go here and adjust that a little bit. And then you go to the 2D tracking and you click on manual tracking and then manual track. And it's just going to process through and try to track the feature. Um, once that's done, you see there, it's locked to that point. It's going to break. If it breaks, I just right click. I can insert key at track position and it's going to continue the track position. So this is the, the footage after it's all been tracked. So you'll see that we have all the markers there. Um, we want to select all of the markers that we'd like to add to our object tracker. And we can go here, add the object tracker in. And we have this assigned tracks. We click on assign selected. And then you go to your reconstruction and you run the 3D solver. So once you run the 3D solver, it adds a motion object tracker an object tracker there, and all of your user features are located in there as well. Um, you can do simple scene reconstruction in here as well, so if you add in a uh, vector constraint and then pause this, you can actually set a distance between these points, 